I'm going to walk you through my network rack one piece at a time. And the fourth piece is the USW Pro XG24 PoE, which is a 24 port PoE switch with 720 watts of total PoE supply. If you don't know, PoE stands for power over ethernet, and it's when you supply both power and internet connection over an ethernet cable. The first eight ports are multi-speed 2.5 gigabit ethernet PoE++ ports, and the last 16 are 10 gigabit ethernet ports. Connection to the network is supplied to the switch from this 25 gigabit SFP28 port coming from the network switch above that I mentioned in my previous video. Like the 48 port network switch that I showed in a previous video, this switch has ether lighting. This is where the ethernet port itself is backlit and that light kind of lights up the clear connector of your ethernet cable and the color indicates the speed of that data connection. You can actually change this to indicate what internal network the port is on if you'd rather do that. And you can also change the color for the different data speeds to whatever you want. Just like with the previous switch that I showed, uh, you can also tap each port and it will tell you what device is connected to that port and also uses colors in the app to indicate the speeds of the various connections. PoE ports are great for connecting Unify's wireless access points like this U6 Plus that I'm showing here, but I've recently upgraded to the U7 Pro XG access points. These PoE ports are also great for connecting PoE cameras, and I plan to install four Unify G6 turret cameras in those slots. Lastly, since this switch is such a monster and produces so much power, it's actually really big and is deeper than most of their devices. So I actually had to get a bigger rack to put this in. And I also 3D printed this little shelf bracket to support the switch since I don't have a connection at the back of the rack to support the backs of devices. Anyway, I hope this gives you guys an idea of how cool this massive switch is.